Hi, I'm Kimberly Clark, and this is what I'm not gonna buy holiday 2015. What I'm not gonna buy. So I decided to make this video just because I've had this like kind of transcendent experience where I found myself watching all these holiday palette review videos and feeling like a little excited, but then kind of ex watching them more and being like, oh, I don't, I don't need that. No, I'm not going to get that. Oh, I'm not. And I was like, whoa, 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 what's happening? Last year I was like, I gotta get that. I Get that. Buy that. Oh, there's a new thing. Oh, get it. Maybe I'm just like at a saturation point or something, or I've been doing this YouTube thing enough and like watching ha enough hauls or like thinking about it so much that I'm just like, ugh, you know, like why? Maybe we should just like put the brakes on it a little bit, the consumerism, the capital, like maybe let's just, let's just stop shopping. I used to be like a protester with Reverend Billy, who's this amazing activist, thinker, essayist uh, in New York City. And you know, we would go up and down Fifth Avenue on Black Friday and protest uh, all the stores and especially the ones that sold fur. And we would try to get people to stop shopping. It sounds like a kind of ludicrous, simple request. Stop shopping. Uh, but it's actually like kind of, it's epic. And, you know, the, the whole beauty industry and, you know, what my channel is kind of based on is this kind of... Virul vir virulent, 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 virulent consumerism. It's viral. It's a viral thing. It's like a disease. Consu you know, you're just like, ugh, gotta buy, gotta buy, gotta buy. And you know, I, th there, I, I'm not gonna lie, like, I love watching haul videos. I love doing hauls. Like, I love shopping. But, you know, I don't need to do this. I don't need to be buying this stuff and neither do you. In this video, I'm gonna go through all of the products that a lot of people are talking about, and I'm going to tell you why I'm not gonna buy them. So it's kind of like an anti-haul. I'm still gonna like show a bunch of pictures here and like, you know, I'm gonna go through shit and talk about it and whatever, but I actually didn't spend any money. One thing that's kind of exciting, isn't it? And you don't have to either. And uh, that's that's what this video is gonna be. Okay, a couple disclaimers, gotta do this. I'm talking about why I'm not buying them. Now, I am not you. I'm very different than you. We're all different. That's what makes the world go round, love it. If, if I say that I don't want something, that this product is bad or it's not good or it's not interesting or whatever, that doesn't mean that it's not a good product or it's interesting for you or that you might want it or that you're an idiot if you buy it or whatever or you know you you shouldn't buy it or you're bad or I don't mean to offend anybody it's, and if you have bought some of these things already good for you let me know if you agree with me or if you uh were like no Kimberly no it is worth it you should get it uh, blah, 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 blah. anyway okay other disclaimer uh this is hyperbole hyperbole I don't know if you if you are familiar with that word it means like exaggeration explain saying something is more than it really is now I feel like a lot of youtubers are hyperbolize all the time they talk about how much you need things how important these products are for your life and all this stuff. So I'm basically going to be talking about how much you don't need things. And it's the exact same thing that everybody else is doing, except I'm being extreme in the other way, in in the way that, that allows you to not spend any money, uh, that allows you to save your money for something else that you might want or you know, your kids to go to school or something like that, you know, some good thing like that, charity, I don't know, language classes, learn another language, how about that? Why not expand your, expand your worldview that way, huh? Okay, third disclaimer. I just want to say, a, this isn't a disclaimer. This is just a, a state, a claimer. A claimer, a claim. This is a huge thank you to all of those other YouTubers out there that talked about all these products. That is how I learn about every makeup product that I buy. I'm a YouTube junkie. I watch, If I ever buy anything, I will watch a video on it first if it is out there. I am, and I am indebted to people like you out there that do that. Specifically, people like 
Tara Baby's Coffee Break with Danny. Ishani from Total Makeup Junkie. She has this phenomenal series on all the holiday palettes this year. Totally worth a watch. She's an excellent critic. I totally trust her opinions on makeup. Love her. And of course, Tati from Glam Life Guru. I just, I love these gals because they are, I, I never really feel like they get hype, like swept up into crazy like hype or like fervor of different collections or things. Like they always, their perspectives on makeup is related to their collection, to other makeup they've purchased, to their knowledge of makeup. And I just love that kind of brand of reporting. I think it's really, really helpful and I trust them. So thank you guys so much. And thank you anybody else that has ever made a YouTube video. Uh, you know, we, uh, this, I'm part of this community and I, I love it and that's why we're here and it's exciting. And I just want to let you know that this video would not happen without you. Also, side note, it wouldn't happen without any of you watching it. So thank you all for watching my videos, you know, as you do, like, subscribe, do all that jazz. All right, let's go. Here's the first thing that I'm not buying. It's the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. Now, I don't own any Vice palettes. I actually only own two Urban Decay palettes. I own the Electric palette and the Naked Basics 1 palette. I have never bought a Vice palette. I've never bought a Naked palette. Um, I've just always felt like my look and the way that I use eyeshadow specifically would not benefit from either of these palettes. And the Vice palette has always been, like, you know, I looked at all those colors and I was like, this isn't making sense to me. Like, wow, there's a lot of different looks I can come up with with this, but like, it's huge and like, they're not super cohesive, you know? Like, I would say, like, get a Morphe palette. Those Morphe pa here, I'm gonna grab one, hold on. One thing that I've heard about the Urban Decay shadows, some of them have that crazy chunky glitter, and that's like, you know, I think that's kind of like a deal breaker. Like, chunky glitter, if you're gonna use glitter, use glitter. Like, look at my eyes. Like, that's glitter. I use glitter glue, put glitter on them. Boom. Glitter. Chunky glitter in a shadow doesn't work. It doesn't stick, falls off, gets all over your face. This palette, for example, the... The Morphe 35B, all of these, I mean, the, sh the glitters in them are not chunky. They're super fine if they're there. They're just great shimmers. And this makes sense to me. Look at all these shadows. Like, there's, it's a color scheme. It's a, they're in rows. It's organized. I could, like, make looks that go together. Like, I, it makes sense to me. The Vice palette's almost like a little challenge of a palette. It's like, put a couple colors together. See if you could rock them if you dare. I don't need makeup palettes to be, like, Look at this crazy thing you can do. It's like, no, 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 like I'm an artist. Like a palette is a palette for me. Like I just want to see the options and the colors. I'm the creative, amazing person that then puts them together in interesting ways. I just want them to be organized in a way that I can understand them to then kind of further, you know, come up with something to do. So I don't, I'm like, ugh, forget about it. And it's 60 bucks. Like, no, 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 don't need it. If you collect them, great, whatever. I do not. Uh, I'm not gonna start, and if you haven't, I don't suggest you start either because you do not need that palette. You don't need it. The next palette that I'm not going to buy is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. Uh, uh, this is bullshit. There's no reason you should buy this. This is $80. $80. The cost-effective situation, everyone, like, Ishani's video has an amazing breakdown of why it's a total ripoff. You know, uh, ounce for ounce, this is so not a deal. It's a deal in the sense that, like, I want to try every ambient lighting powder, and the only way I could try them is buying all the full sizes. Oh, wait, now I could buy six of them. I can get blushes and the bronzer and three ambient lighting powders, and no. Why would you want that? No. Don't really understand why having six different ones to try to find the right one, and then you're stuck with five other ones that aren't right, or whatever, or two other lighting powders that aren't right, and you got these two blushes, which are like finishing blush, I don't know, I, nah, I like a big old, I like a fat NARS blush with a lot of pigmentation in it, that's my jam, so like, I don't buy, I'm not down with the wispy, sparkly, shimmering, finishing, pa no, hourglass, no. And this brand just seems totally overpriced. I mean, I know the packaging is like really sleek and beautiful, but it ain't made of gold. It's fucking plastic painted gold. It's painted, it's not gold. It's not worth that much money. You do not need that palette. You don't need it. 
You don't need it. And the pants are like the size of a quarter. Remember this picture? It's been run around. Yeah, no, bullshit. No, no, you don't need it. You don't need it. I'm not gonna buy it. Speaking of NARS blushes, here's another palette that I'm not going to buy. This is the Sephora exclusive Stephen Klein One Shocking Moment Blush Palette. Now, I would buy this. I would. Here's why I'm not buying it, because I already own this. This is the Virtual Domination Cheek Palette. This is the NARS Sephora Holiday Palette from last year. And uh, this, I love this palette. It, it's a great value. You get a big Laguna bronzer. You get four blushes that are almost full size. Really, really great value. And this was $65. This year, it's $69. The blushes are a little smaller. The Laguna bronzer is, I think, bigger or the same size. And you get this Paloma contouring duo. I, I think it's a fabulous, fabulous value. But if you have this, or if you have a lot of NARS blushes, do not buy it. You don't need it. If you have a big Laguna bronzer, you have enough. If you don't want, like, to try new contour stuff and those blushes, you know, they're pretty, but, like, they're nothing new or amazing or crazy. At definitely not anything to live up to the name One Shocking Moment. Like, uh-uh. If you want a shocking moment, hold on, here. If you want it, if you wanted a shocking moment, you should have got the NARS Christopher Kane blush in Starscape. Look at this. Shocking! Shocker! That's a shocker. Boom! Honestly, if you have this, or you have an earlier version of this, I don't know, I, you don't need it. You do not need to buy it. I definitely don't need it and I'm not gonna buy it. Okay, let's talk Tarte. I don't own any Tarte products. I've always been like eyeing their blushes. Now, uh, ever since the blush palette from Holiday of, of 2014, I was like, wow, that's a great palette. That looks great. Then the Sephora one came out this year. This one is the... Uh, bling it on this that's this year's holiday blush palette this is why you don't need this you those blushes are boring you don't need those they're regular easy whatever tart blushes i don't really like the i've swatched them a ton of times and i've heard tons of reviews about them i i don't think that formula would work for me it's very stiff if you're like a blush abuser like danny is says she is from coffee break with danny hey girl you know if you abuse blush you want a stiffer blush so you don't overdo it i'm a blush abuser but i'm a drag queen so i like that kind of shit so i like a very pigmented soft blush and so those tart blushes are not for me. Also, this packaging sheds like crazy. I've already got a glitter problem because I'm a drag queen. I don't need my makeup cases to be shedding glitter. No, ugh, terrible. No, 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 Not gonna, not one. What else am I not? I'm not gonna get, what is it, from Ulta, the At First Blush Deluxe Amazonian Clay Blush Set. It's four blushes, they're mini. The, the, the Bling It On one from Sephora is $44. You get five blushes. This one's $35, you get four mini blushes. These are like the size of eyeshadow shadows like they're teeny tiny they're tiny Ugh, too small tiny 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 if I want to blush I want to be able to put my put my brush in it you know I don't know the the heft of a good blush I like that and these okay th not to mention these colors are like what the fuck like they're like peach like parfait really this is like holiday 2015 they're all like new like I tried to swatch them in other before they came out I tried to find them in other stores no, they're all new. Like, they're not even... It feels like these are, like, some weird, like, holiday things that they're just, like, throwing out. Like, they're not as precious as, like, a MAC holiday collection or a NARS. Like, they don't feel, like, real. They feel like a kind of, like, cheap throwaway thing. I don't like it. Then we've, we've got these other sets, these two things with the giant sequin pouches. The Light of the Party set from Sephora. This is the giant, like, here. This is... A, the eyeshadow, I mean, I I've never used Tarte eyeshadows, I'm not into them, whatever. All these colors seem so, like, boring and neutral, whatever. You have these colors already, you don't need this. What's more, it comes with this, like, awkward thing where it's, like, a ton of shadows that you can't remove from the bottom, and then, like, a little tiny palette that's, like, uber boring for you to just, like, take around, like... This makes no sense to me. These color, they don't make any sense. No, no, sorry, no. And the packaging, really cute, really pretty, but like, to, I'm sure it's like cheap. I'm sure it is. To remove the stuff, I mean, because I heard you can remove the palette and whatever you use as like a little box or something, but like, I don't know. It's, that's just gonna fall apart. You know it. You know it. You don't need that. Also, you don't need the uh, Greatest Glitz Collector set. This is, okay, this one's got like the three removable palette, but again, these are like, None of that is inspiring to me. They're like, the design- when you look at a Kat Von D palette and you're like, oh my god, look at all the- look at this, this is stunning. Just even the fucking typography is amazing. Uh, 
I, this is inspiring to me just because of the way it is like put together. The Tarte stuff, like unless you know three people that love Tarte shadows that don't have any makeup and need some like boring basic makeup, get them this and give it to them or whatever. Do not buy this for yourself. Don't pretend you're gonna buy it for somebody else and then keep it. No, 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 no. You don't need this. There's nothing like interesting or collectible about this. It's just like, pfft, I'm not into it. No, sorry, you don't need it. You don't need it and I'm not gonna buy it. Bye. Moving on, Too Faced. This holiday collection is like the reason why it took me so long to get on board with Too Faced. Their packaging and their whole vibe seems so twee to me, like it's too cute or like too cutesy or whatever. Now I love the Love Flush blushes. I love them. They're gorgeous. I, I have three of them. I love them. But these, okay. We got the Grand Ch Le Grand Chateau, the Grand Chateau, the big house. This is the three mini, pa this is like the, the Tarte greatest glitz thing where it's like these three removable, and these are like, this is the same deal, same deal. Do not buy these. They're boring. There's nothing super collectible about it. The like weird cardboard packaging is cute, but like, oh my God, you don't need another fucking cardboard box like lying around, like you don't need that. You do not need that. It's, you're gonna throw it away. Like, nah. And these palettes, like, you're not gonna use them. They're just like, they don't have names on There's nothing distinguishing about them. They're not pretty, like, and you're not gonna give them away. Like, if you buy them, like I said, it's the same deal with the glitz and glam, whatever the thing is from Tarte. If you have no people that love Too Faced shadows and whatever, maybe you can find people. I don't know. You're not gonna, no need. This is not, just, it's not interesting. Okay, then we got the Grand Palais, which is bigger. The big castle is what that, the big palace, what that means. $58 from Sephora. Okay, this is the one where everyone's like, ooh, this is the big, pretty awesome palette with all the Too Faced out. Great. When people use this, the glitter fallout is so much that it just contaminates all the shadows. They have a great variety of shadows here, lovely, but oh my god, once they're, those matte shadows ain't matte anymore because they have glitter all over them from the crazy fallout chunky glitter shadows. Like, no, 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 no. There's no need for that. Not helpful, not gonna work, sorry. And again, it's like a big cardboard, no. No, no, no. Okay, then we got the Ulta one, Le Petite Maison, like the little house. Maison, Chateau, Castle, I don't know, French. Uh, it's different kinds of dwellings is what they are with different kind of laser cut cardboard boxes. These shadows, there are 12 hella boring shadows. You have these shadows. You don't need them. It's not like it's an amazing neutral matte palette. I think Too Faced has one of those. If you want some like neutral shadows to like do your thing with, get the matte thing or get the chocolate bar or like all that. Like get the Vegas Nay palette. That one, see, I love the Vegas Nay palette. Wanna know why? I don't have it. I'm not gonna get it either. I'm not gonna get it. But I like that one better than like the Vice palettes or something because it seems cohesive in this way that doesn't seem challenging. Like row by row, it seems like inspiring and I like that. I like that. Anyway, okay, so that's the one Too Faced thing that I would hold out for, and I, I don't know when it's coming out. Like I said, I love the Love Flush blushes, and apparently there's been, like, sneak peeks of this Love Flush blush palette, which is all six Love Flush blushes in a tiny, annoying strip. If you're gonna get one Too Faced palette, wait for that one to come out. I know I am. I'm not getting any of these grand... La Poupe, Palais, La Ipe, Tori Fell, Rama Lama, Uwe La Bibliothèque, No Merci, Dorian. Okay, here's the next palette I'm not going to buy. The Marc Jacobs Overpriced Piece of Shit. This is a hundred dollar eyeshadow palette. It's 20 shadows that are completely unremarkable. I'm sure they're great quality because they're fucking expensive, but like, ugh. No, you don't need this. There's no reason you need this. The Those like Chanel quads and like, I don't own any of that, by the way. I don't own any Chanel eyeshadows or Dior or what, Yves Saint Laurent or whatever. Never bought any of those because like I don't need those. I know I don't need those and I cannot afford those. But there is something that I get about like buying like a little tiny like Chanel thing with like two eyeshadows, like this little tiny precious magical thing. You have very few of them. Like they're very special. This like seems to like kind of go against the luxury like ideology. You have 20, it's a hundred, but it's like ridiculously expensive. It's in this giant shell thing. It's a palette, it's gonna get all messy and like any other palette will. Like it's not gonna be this cute little precious thing. It's like this giant like, ugh, you just don't need it. And then there's like one olive green color in there that's like kind of cute. Hello, get a makeup geek shadow. Get something else, get, don't spend $99 on an eyeshadow palette. And don't buy those fucking lipsticks either, those Louboutin lipsticks, don't. Don't do it, you don't need them. 
You do not need them. I'm looking at you, Ray Reviews. You don't need them. No one needs them. Anyway, so I'm just... Don't buy that. I'm not going to buy the March. No, sorry. I've never owned any Marc Jacobs shadows. I tried the highlighter gel eyeliner crayon once. Talked about it. I returned it. it it's too much. I can't. Uh-uh. No, no. Love perfumes. Love Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh. That's my jam. Love it. Wish I was wearing some right now. This dress is really, really tight and it's fake denim. Moving on. Okay, here's what I'm definitely not getting. This Benefit Cutie Cravings set from Ulta. This is making me more ugly than last year's Benefit holiday set. Like, this is disgusting. This is terrible. It's like a gross gingerbread tin fit. Like, it looks awful. Benefit, like, I could deal with, like, one product at a time. But, like, when I see all their, like, totally, like, mixed fonts and, like, different branding, like, all to, like, I can't, I can't. Like, it is such a shit show show design wise their products some of them are great I haven't tried a ton of them but the ones I've tried love them they're great but like ugh, I'm, I would never I would never buy this never this is so ugly sorry if you think this is cute fine that's your it's your prerogative but you know what even if you think it's cute you don't need it you do not need this you just don't you don't need it mm -mm. okay here are two things from Smashbox that I'm not going to get. The Art Love Color Masterclass. It's like a $65 book. It has 40 shadows in it. It has these like annoying flaps that like come in and it looks like a really awful like play set that like I couldn't figure out when I was a kid. Like it looks like it's going to frustrate me. The shades and everything, semi-interesting, cool whatever. I found that, like, when it combines the eyeshadows and the blushes, like, it just, like, makes me feel like it's, like, a kitty makeup set thing. Ugh, I don't know. I love Smashbox shadows. They're great, but, like, I don't think I would invest in this this book. Nothing is su- I mean, there's some pretty color combinations, but nothing's, like, really unique. Eh, sorry. Okay. And then Smashbox Art Love Color palettes. These are from Ulta. These are, like, three- mini palettes. Contrastingly to the Sephora one, these are like hella boring. Like there's not even interesting color comp. They're super pretty, I guess, but like I don't see anything interesting about this. No, I'm not gonna buy And you don't need it. You don't need this. You don't need three separate if you want to get a bunch of things that are, like, are giftable or, like, look cute or, like, are similar, go to e.l.f. Get, like, those e.l.f. prism shadows. Get the e.l.f. like, little matte palette. Get those palettes. They're, like, ten bucks. They ha are, like, amazing quality, actually. And they have, like, a little bit more, I think, like, cohesive and creative colorways. That's just the deal. It's true. All right, um, wow. Okay, so that was like my anti-haul video. I really think that like because I'm not getting all this stuff, it's making the things that I have or have purchased feel more special and it lets me use them. The more shit that I accumulate, the like harder it is for me to actually remember to use things and like know where they are and like all that kind of good stuff. And the Kat Von D Me Vita Loca Remix palette is so, it's so good, so good. I love that palette so much and I don't I don't need to have be confused with other palettes. I that I can do looks for years with that palette. It is fabulous. There are very few other palettes, like I've said, that like really kind of speak to me in that way. Now maybe one of these palettes that I mentioned speaks to you in the way that the Kat Von D palette spoke to me. And I say great. I say go for it, get that. But maybe then don't get the other one. Maybe just get one. You don't have to totally stop shopping. I know that's hard. Then it's hard, people. But let's maybe scale it back a little bit, right? Right. I'm right. I'm not gonna ask you if I'm right. I'm right. I'm Kimberly Clark. I'm a communist. No, I didn't spend any money to make this video. Didn't buy anything. It was actually like a full-on anti-haul. But I think it's gonna start some interesting conversations, and I'm excited to have them with you. So thanks for being here, and uh, happy holidays. And enjoy that Sephora VIB 20% off sale if it's already happening. Hopefully I'll be able to post this, like, right as it starts happening, so it'll, like, get you like get you thinking thinking use that noggin put your put your brain where your money is don't blow it jingle bell jingle bell jingle bell ride jingle bells ride and jingle bell time snowing and blowing and dancing the stand in the frosty air